Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we broke down a simple UI screen, but today we are going to go one level up and we are going to break down the WhatsApp chat list screen that you must be familiar with. Before we begin, thank you so much for leaving such nice comments on my last video. I highly appreciate this and I wanted to shout out all these lovely people. Also stay till the end of the video because today we are going to give you a little bit of homework to do. So without wasting any more time, um, you know the gist. So before we begin in the last video, we basically talked about molecular widgets and atomic widgets. So I hope you know this entire thing from the last video. So please do watch the last one if you have no idea what I'm talking about, because this is very, very much related to that. So today we are going to be breaking down this WhatsApp chat list screen. Let's just break down the UI here. So if we look at it in the first part, we basically have an app bar and then we also have a tabs which is fine, that's all good. But how do we break down the, the main body of this screen? So basically, if you see here, there are elements that are being repeated here. So basically these are, um, if you call them like the preview widget or something like that. So they are the preview widget and I am going to correct uh, right here as preview, preview, preview. But it, ideally this, uh, if you see that they are repeated again and again and again, they are probably not going to be inside a column because you don't know the length of the children or how many children you basically have. So here we basically have list as a molecular widget and then the children are going to be the preview widget. Now technically this is not what I wanted to emphasize on this video today. I wanted to actually break down the preview widget and show you fair confusion that we usually have when we're breaking down UI elements into rows or columns. Uh, so the first question that we need to ask when we are breaking down this preview widget is that, hey, is the parent going to be a column or is the parent going to be a stack or is the parent going to be a row? Let's just uh, figure out the first, uh, sorry, the last one actually. Is it going to be a stack? I don't see that this could be a stack here. It's like an empty background, but I feel that there's nothing that is going on top of uh, the elements or behind the elements. So no, it's not going to be a stack. Now let's uh, figure out the first question, which is, is the parent a column? Now, if this a parent a column, then basically we want to be able to vertically divide this entire widget down into few elements. So if I break this down in this manner, only then I can say that my parent widget is actually a column. But you see something is actually coming in between, which is the image. And that is why we cannot properly break this down into two vertical children of a column. So I'm guessing the parent is not a column. Now let's see if the parent is a row. So here, how can we divide this into row children? Maybe this could be the first element. Maybe this could be the uh, second element or child. And this could be the third element or child. And that fits perfectly. Now we are able to break that down perfectly into three children and the parent widget seems to be like row here. So this is perfect. Now, if we actually look at the row in the first element is going to be atomic because it's an image. Second element, if you see, it can be broken down further into two more elements. So I'm guessing this is going to be another a molecular widget. And if you see the third child also can also be broken down further into two more elements. So that is also a molecular widget. And the second element, if you see that we have elements placed one after another in the vertical axis. So we probably want to call it a column here, which it uh, will be divided into text and more text. Now, if the third child will also be divided into a column and uh, it will also have the children as text and text. Now that was the entire breakdown of the elements. You basically have your parent widget as list, which is repeatedly populating the preview widget. Now the preview widget is this much, which the parent widget is the row, which is fine. The first child of the row is an image and the second child is a column, which is further broken down into text and text. And the third child is also a column, which is also further broken down into text and text. 
That's all for today and I only wanted to conquer the chat list preview item because it raised an interesting question that when should my parent widget be a row or when should my parent widget be a column when there is a possibility of both. Now the homework that I was talking about in the beginning of the video is that go to Dribble and find a design and break that thing out. Uh, so imagine you go to Dribble and take this design and see the first a screen and break that into molecular and atomic widgets either on your tab or your uh, notebook whatever you have and take a picture of it and share it with me through either Instagram, LinkedIn or Twitter and if I get at least three entries from you then I will showcase them on the next uh, video of the series and I will discuss how you broke the design down. So to participate tag the dribble link, attach the image of your breakdown and use the hashtag breakdown layout series and please please do tag me. It's also possible that nobody really did the homework and I get no entry so I don't do any video because I, I don't think a lot of people are watching this series yet but I'll still come back with more complex UI that we can break down and do tell me in the comments if you like this video because I would love to shout out your name in the next video that I take and see you in the next video.